The Incan Empire was one of the largest empires that ruled the Western Hemisphere. They ruled in the 15th century. We see that there were close to a 10 million people in the Incan Empire. They had great administrative plans so that the empire could grow. They were the followers of the sun god named Inti. Whatever the sun god Inti said to them, they followed. And so they had a golden rod. And wherever the rod pierced, they would rule the place and that would be their capital. And so in Cusco, the rod pierced and that was their capital. In the rule of the Inca Pachacutec, the empire grew in a vast scale. Four countries were under them, Ecuador, Chile, Peru and Bolivia. Soon after the expansion of the kingdom, Inca Pachacutec passed away. And so his son, Topa Inca, had to take the throne. And so as the days went by, he too passed away and Huayna Capac, his son, came to the throne. By this time, the Spanish were in the Caribbean islands and they had brought smallpox, which is a very dangerous disease, which the locals were not resistant to. And during this time, during the widespread of the disease, Huayna Capac passed away in the plague. And so we see that his brothers Atahualpa and Huascar had a fight to take the throne. They wanted the throne for themselves. They were so selfish that they didn't want to share it with their brother. And we see that they had a battle within their own family. In the civil war, Atahualpa won the battle and Waskar lost it. And so Waskar were in charge of very small portions of the empire. And so we see that Atahualpa was so happy and he rejoiced. Knowing the chaotic state of the empire, the Spanish took advantage. They told if Waskar helped the Spanish to conquer Atahualpa, he would be the next emperor. And so, through jealousy, Waskar helped the Spanish to conquer his own brother. Atahualpa was so happy that he won the battle. And so, he arranged for the meeting with the Spanish general Francisco Pizarro. Francisco Pizarro, with his 168 men and few ammunition, went to the meeting. And soon after the meeting was over, Francisco Pizarro placed his troops all around the building and they had guns and lot of ammunition and by this time they started attacking the Incan Empire and Atahualpa was captured. So soon after these days Atahualpa was in prison and he thought these people didn't come to take the empire they wanted some ransom and so he ordered to get some gold. And knowing that his brother had betrayed him, he ordered his own brother to be killed. And soon after he gave the gold, the Spanish divided the gold within themselves and they didn't leave the country. Soon, Atahualpa was put in the center of the city and he was killed with his throat slit. And we see that the whole empire fell down. There are two things that I want to say from the history of this empire. First, Atahualpa thought, only 168 men, what would they do to me? I have a 7,000 men army, but the only difference was, they were armed and he was unarmed. In the Bible, it says in 1 Peter 5.8, Be sober and vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is like a roaring lion, walking about, seeking whom he might devour. In the Bible, it says, we have to be clever and think about what we do. The Satan is more powerful than us. Sometimes in life we think it's just one thing, just one time. Nothing is going to happen to me. And this gives root for Satan to build in us and destroy us completely. The second thing I'd like to talk to you about is found in Philippians 2.3. It says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conflict. Just think if the two brothers would have been in unity they would have conquered many countries and they would have ruled most of the Western Hemisphere. But they were jealous of each other. They had war between their own family. So the whole Incan Empire fell down. The same way in life we see that when someone gets promotion to become a leader, to become in big positions, we feel jealous of them and pull them down. Just think, what if we work with unity, all of us can grow. 
when a leader is appointed we feel jealous about them as we see in the bible god is the king maker god is the one who appoints and removes a person from the position so we have no right to be jealous about them as we see that saul was anointed by god and so david did not kill him we have to respect our leaders because god is the one who appointed them we have to work with unity so all of us can grow and no one can set us apart if we are jealous about each other satan will see like francisco pizarro for an opportunity to devour us and destroy us totally so we have to work in unity as i said earlier there are two things i want you to take from this illustration of history at the wall for thought he had 7000 men but Francisco Pizarro had only 168. He thought it would it was not a big number, but the same thing we see that we think that it's only one time and just a small thing. Now it's not going to affect us, but Satan will use that one small thing to defeat us. And in the Bible it says in Philippians, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The second thing I would like to take is we have to never be jealous of anyone. we have to unitedly grow in the grace of god and so all of us can be benefited and the name of god be glorified and today i'd like to make a point to you go make a difference encourage someone grow in unity and so all of us can grow and the name of the lord be glorified and so no one can defeat us and satan can never defeat us at this day take it as an opportunity to encourage someone and to be a blessing to someone God has a plan for you so never be jealous about someone someone's growth encourage each other so that no one can destroy us and we can be a firm foundation now you are seeing a place called Kori Kancha which is behind me this place was a Inca temple and because the Incas were defeated the Spanish totally destroyed and built their church on top of it let no one defeat us and build themselves on top of us see if we have not in unity someone else will take the opportunity and totally destroy us and build themselves above us so let us be united encourage each other to grow together this is talent thank you for joining me on a teaspoon of hope have a blessed day